Hi, everybody. Welcome to Mindful Design Feng Shui School. We are Laura Morris and Angie Cho, and we're the co-founders of Mindful Design Feng Shui School. We hope that these videos will inspire, educate, and empower you to create mindful spaces that transform and resonate with you. Today's episode is about, it's a Q&A, and we have this question coming from our Facebook group, and it's from Brenna. And Brenna has asked, based on the PDF, the free downloadable Bagua map, so we have a free downloadable package or kit that helps you Bagua your home. The bottom, she's asking if the bottom of the chart is the wall the door is on. But, and then her question is, but our living room door is on the north but we come in through our garage door slash dining room entrance with this on the south side. So which threshold should we use as the base? So this is a common question about which door, et cetera, and Angie is going to answer it this week for us. Thanks, Laura. Yeah, so this is a very common question. People ask this all the time and actually, um, uh, I'm going to address part of the first part of the question well, uh, where she asks about um, that her living room door is on one side of the house but so the main so she's saying the main door her main door is on the north side of the house and that her garage door which is another door that she uses so in in the U.S. A lot of people have detached garages or attached garages or whatever. So they um, come in, they have attached garages. So they come in through their garage door instead of using their front door. So she's saying she has this other entrance on the south side. So before I jump into it, we, uh, Laura and I and Mindful Design School, we practice BTB feng shui and there's dozens and dozens of schools of feng shui. So it's actually irrelevant for the question to let us know when is on the north side and when is on the south side. Because what we really look at in BTB is where is the energy coming from? And that is through your door. So this leads us to this other question. So she's saying she has her official bedroom door and she has a door that she doesn't, she has a door that she actually uses. So which one should she use as, as the bottom of the Bagua map? So again, like Laura said, you could download that Bagua map on our website and it's free. And so the bottom of the chart has, um, is where is how you align the Bagua to your home and that aligns with the front door of your space. And what you use is your official front door. So it's a formal front door. It's the door that um, usually has your number, your house number on it. And it's the door that guests would come into and it's not the garage door or the back door, it's your main door. So that's the one that you would use. And this would be what you would use for your, um, your overall feng shui map layout. Now, just to let you know that there's more, we're not gonna get into it, but you can also create other Bagua maps because a Bagua map is a concept. It's an energy map that changes, it adapts, it stretches, it gets smaller. You can use it on like your whole house. You could use it on your um, bedroom. You can use it on your bed. You can use it on your desk or you could go bigger. You could use it on your whole property. You could use it on your city. So um, it's really this this um, conceptual energy map and so you could if that you could lay a secondary Bagua map but that's really getting very complicated I wouldn't suggest you do this at all Brenna but to answer your question remember north south all of that is not relevant to BTB so don't get your schools mixed up it's just kind of like it's like saying you want to use like two different brownie recipes like start with one and um, because you're a beginner, so start with one. And then, yes, you use your main front door as the bottom of the Bagua map. So good luck with that. Thanks, Angie. So thank you so much for watching this episode from Mindful Design Feng Shui School. If you like this episode, please subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to dive deeper into the world of Feng Shui and Mindful Design, please visit us at mindfuldesignschool.com. Thank you.